it's just a really wonderful machine and it's a workhorse. And when we use it, it does exactly what we want it to do pretty much all the time. So I don't know if we're really lucky because I am a only partially trained machinist, but it works really well for us, so. Highway One's a hardware accelerator based in San Francisco, California. And twice a year, we take in uh, 10 teams and in exchange for equity in the company, we give them up to $100,000, as well as full engineering support, business development support, uh, curriculum, mentorship, as well as access to a full prototyping shop. So to mitigate risk when you develop hardware is about prototyping. And prototypes are things that answer questions. And so you have to learn how to make a prototype that answers a specific question at a specific resolution. So because we're an educational model and we want to equip people to do this in the future, we teach them a wide variety of prototyping methods. So we'll start out, say, in the rough shop, and we'll teach people how to use hot glue and foam core and urethane foam in order to test assumptions and test hypotheses really quickly, right? Like we like to say that you can do a whiteboard sketch in seven seconds, you can do a foam core cutout in seven minutes, you can do a 3D print in seven hours. You can do a CNC also kind of in seven hours. But to really develop a, a prototype um, on manufacturing scale, it could take seven months. So when would you like to make mistakes? In seven minutes or seven months? Right? So by using the prototyping process to ask specific questions, you kind of want to be able to answer questions at the lowest resolution possible in order to get a satisfactory answer. You know, success, means a lot of different things to a hardware startup. Now at Highway 1, a team might come in with a fairly rough prototype, definitely more than a napkin sketch, definitely less than an injection molded part. And along the four months, our job is to move the needle. We like to say that we do a year's worth of hardware development in four months. Um, we purchased the Tormach because it was the right size, it was the right price, and it was the right quality for our space. Um, it is the only machine in the marketplace that really hits all of those numbers for a space like ours, where we really want to use it as a development tool and a teaching tool, and not necessarily as a place where we're just cranking out parts. We're not a job shop, right? We teach people what it's like to either engage in the machining process or what comes out of the machining process. You know, we're familiar with some of the other names in the industry that are more complicated machines that are a lot more expensive. We're familiar with some of the machines that are benchtop machines and really crappy. And Tormach hits a unique price point and quality level where you get a super high quality machine at a very affordable price with, that offers a ton of support. There's also a deep community of Tormach users that are available as a resource. So something that is important to us is being able to troubleshoot quickly and also to learn ways of doing things quickly. So we only have great things to say about the Tormach uh, 1100. It's been a great machine. We've run a ton of parts on it with no error for probably over a year at this point. Uh, we've had an excellent customer service. We've had really great response from the company and then from also John Bauer, who's your authorized retailer. So the, and we've used a lot of accessories and such from Tormach as well and I've just had nothing but good experiences. So over the course of Highway 1, we've had 67 startups move through six cohort cycles. Startups at Highway 1 face a multitude of challenges because the startup ecology is hard. Right? So what we do in particular at Highway 1 is really try to identify what the largest risks are in their development process and mitigate those risks. So there's always risks with developing physical hardware. So we do a lot of physical prototyping here, but their risk could be really understanding the user. Their risk could be really understanding the market. And because of the team we have, we're really able to address all parts of the startup ecosystem in order to approach all of the risks. So they're very busy because they're dealing with business, they're dealing with market, and they're dealing with physical prototyping all at the same time while they're at Highway 1. So we're really able to approach and handle all of the problems that any startup could possibly face during this really intense development cycle. It's the ability to cut a mold and test that with urethane casting and simulate the injection molding process is an incredible teaching opportunity to teach someone about tooling, to teach someone about what comes out of the tooling, about draft angle, about how to design a tool, how to design a tool efficiently. So this is a really wonderful learning opportunity because almost every single person will be making a plastic part. Another thing that we have used the Tormach for in the past as well is high fidelity, high resolution models for our demo day. Now usually we outsource those kinds of models to professional model houses in Asia and domestic as well. But here, 
we have had the need at the kind of at the last minute to also make some really nice parts you know, with a relatively quick turnaround time. So we've used the machine as, less as a prototyping tool and more as kind of a finished part tool for our startups as well. So at Highway 1's demo day, my responsibility is to get a looks like, works like prototype out into the world in front of investors to get them really excited about the product. So over the course of the 16 weeks, we work towards this milestone moment in order for them to have a, real, a realized product that has mitigated a ton of risk and that shows significant progress along their development cycle. We also want it to be beautiful uh, and using that as a tool to get people really excited about investing in the product. The Tormach has been really useful to us because it's a specific tool and it enables really high resolution results. And so when we bring a startup in and they might not have a lot of experience with what a very high resolution part looks like or to see their product realized in the right material at the right scale with the high tolerances that a Tormach can provide, it's great that our shop can enable everything from someone using foam core and hot glue to coming out with a part that could come off a line. John Bauer is John Bauer's awesome. Yeah. <laughs>